What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a way uh, to clean up your computer when using Filmora 9 because you, you know that if you are uh, using Filmora 9 uh, like me uh, every day, uh, you end up uh, fill up your uh, hard drive, hard drive uh, very fast. So uh, we can do some uh, tips and tricks to uh, clean up your computer to uh, have more empty space on your computer. If you want to, uh, if you have two uh, hard drive like me, I have C drive and D drive. So my C drive for installation and uh, other program and D drive is uh, for uh, storage. But after after one or two months uh, using Filmora, uh, Filmora 9, I have to clean up it again, again, because it's always uh, full. So uh, run out of uh, empty space. So I hope you understand what I mean, okay? So let's go to the uh, to the screen. Uh, I will show you some some step to uh, clean up your computer, okay? So uh, here I have uh, Wondershare Filmora 9, the latest version. I installed on my computer. So in order to find the location of this program uh, where it is installed, uh, you can right click on that, open File Location. Okay, so uh, it is installed on uh, C Drive, uh, Program Files, Wondershare, and Wondershare Filmora 9 Spanish version. Okay, so we can select on this and go back to Program Files, and this is Wondershare. And all is 600 megabyte, but we don't do anything with this folder because it is the installa installation folder. So uh, there's a uh, uh, let me show you inside. Uh, right click, uh, left click, uh, left click. Oh, I'm sorry. So there's uh, these are the files that uh, you install on your computer when you download the file from uh, Filmora from uh, Wondershare. So we don't touch uh, this file. Okay. So leave that. Uh, we close that. Uh, but here's Filmora. Uh, this is Filmora. We can check uh, the folder where, where I store my uh, project and backup and render file and everything else in Filmora. Go to File, uh, Preferences, and now we have uh, Folders. Uh, important. This is important. You go to Folders. So this is uh, Folders, Temporary Files, Recorded Files, uh, Recorded Audio, Uploaded Files, and Snapshots Files. So all, all these files are stored in my documents on the share Filmora 9. So I can visit that, but I will do that later. And now we go to editing, uh, nothing, okay, go to save. Okay, so uh, this, I, uh, this is uh, my advice uh, when editing uh, in Filmora. Always set the backup time to uh, one minute so it can save your life. And this is the backup project file too. This is a folder where I store my, uh, where one uh, Filmora store my uh, backup, okay? And this is a default project location. That is uh, where it saved my project, including all the media and uh, music and uh, snapshot, everything else, okay? So, when I finish all the project, I, I, don't, I don't want to, uh, uh, I don't have any pending project. Uh, I finish all of them. Uh, now I can clean up the computer. Just uh, make sure that you finish everything and you don't have uh, any pending work uh, with Filmora. So try to do this tip because otherwise you may lose your work because you delete some files on your computer, okay? So the first thing, go to backup. Uh, click here to go to backup. Now we have here uh, document, Wondershare Filmora 9 backup, but nothing is shown here. It's strange, right? But okay, just just a minute. I will go to to this folder on my computer, and uh, there's many things there. So it's a little bit strange, but uh, don't worry. Okay, click cancel, and the same with the project location. I can click click browse. So we have only one, two, three, three project folder here, but actually it's not three, many. Okay. Now I go. Uh, select the folder or I can uh, click cancel now I close I will close Filmora now 
Okay, so the first thing I will go to my computer. Then, as you see that uh, my C drive is almost full. Uh, I have 130 uh, gigabyte on my C drive, and it is full uh, because of Filmora and because of some uh, other other program on my computer. But uh, now go to document, right? Uh, and here we have Wondershare Filmora 9. It is where the project and backup and everything else inside Filmora store here. We, you can see that it is 19.1 gigabyte. So it's many things uh, inside here and I have this uh, Wondershare, it is Filmora Pro, uh, the program I'm trying now but uh, it's okay so we click on Wondershare Filmora 9 you can see that here's the backup that you, uh, I have just opened it inside the program and nothing there right and now I open it so here here are all the things right all the project I created with uh, Fibora 9 and there's a backup many things right here right it it a little bit strange because uh, if I, I found it in the program there's nothing here but I when I come here directly on my computer there's many things here so I should delete all of this okay so I select one of them I press ctrl A on my computer and I hit delete and 636 items are going to be deleted from my computer. Okay, that's first step. Delete all backup file. Because uh, when you finish the project, you don't need the backup anymore. Okay, that's one point. And just a second because I want to do it slowly so, uh, so you can follow the step. Don't make any mistake. Okay, so the backup file up folder is empty now. And let's go back. Uh, here, we have the project and proceed. So the project is where our project is stored. So we can click on that. So we have three, it's okay, right? But actually I don't need the, this three project anymore because it's a long time ago. So I can select all of them. I can delete. Okay, but if you if you uh, uh, if you don't need to uh, delete this project, it's okay. You just leave it there. I go back, and we have the proceed. Okay, and there's uh, another many thing here. Proceed. Do you remember that proceed set setting in Filmora 9? Uh, for my project, I said to uh, whenever the resolution is higher than. Uh, 720p then uh, create a proxy and it's create a lot of proxy here so actually it's a copy of the original file and you can see that so many things here and I will also select all of them and delete permanently delete them yes okay that's the second right uh, the third point Recorded, recorded. When you use uh, Filmora 9 uh, 3 recording software inside Filmora 9, there's a recorded file. Uh, okay, and click on that. And here I have some some file recorded because I make software tutorials all the time. Let's see the capacity. I'm sorry, one gig, almost one gig. Okay, we can delete all all of them. Okay. Let's go back and render. Render cage. Okay. This is a lot of thing, many thing here. So Fimura now has a render button, right? When you hit the render button, it's create a, the this render file, render folder. Uh, when we try to click on that cage, say yes. Sir. I don't know what is it, but you can delete render cage right click and select delete okay delete render L let's go back it's a three or four or something like that go back and now snapshot whenever I take snapshot inside Filmora it creates some picture here 
uh, okay just delete all of them uh, okay so temp temporary file temporary backup anything we can delete also we select delete many so many files you see that it's almost 20 gigabytes on your C drive if your, your C drive is small then it take a lot remember uh, my action here doesn't affect Femora at all so Femora run well after I do the deletion or the delete here okay. okay so temp delete go back and now we have upload something i upload to femora but nothing is okay and user media okay let's check out this one 89 okay no less part download media favorites and snapshot also snapshot i can also clean clean up okay uh, select all of them and delete okay others is okay and voiceover if you use uh, Filmora screen recorder or uh, screen recorder to record your voiceover this is here click voiceover and you see that I use a lot uh, of screen recorder so many voice over here select all of them and delete okay let's go back and one more thing WSVE project backup it is the same with backup so it's empty okay phones it's okay we can leave the phones uh, because uh, something we use uh, in Filmora is uh, here and the output Output uh, actually I don't need this output I can delete also okay now let's go back to Filmora Wonder Share let's see how much so you see that just some uh, some action and we have uh, we have saved uh, more than uh, 18 gigabyte on on my C drive okay and we can close it now and go back to my computer and you see that again a lot of empty space on my C drive just some action okay so now I will close Filmora and restart it so you understand uh, wh what I say okay so just empty the uh, recycle bin first yes because when we hit delete button on our computer, it's go to the recycle bin. And we need to empty that to get more space on our hard drive. It's okay. Easy to understand, right? Okay, so let's check uh, check out the, uh, my computer. So it is 26 gigabyte free now. And now I will open Filmora to show you. So that's, there's nothing affect our Filmora see the latest version in 9.4.5 okay and I, I even have my 9.3 9 on my computer on different uh, drive and I can run uh, both program at the same time it's funny I'm sorry for the background noise because the worker is doing something around here so okay so now I have uh, Filmora open and you see that in my project library in recent project everything gone so it's empty now but I can create a new project and you know that uh, here I have share folder project folder share folder share media everything is still here so nothing's gone just all uh, the thing that I, I don't uh, use gone. okay and if I make any mistake I can reinstall Filmora now to uh, get it back again but make sure that everything that I don't use delete and give more space on my computer okay 
color sample video, title, transition, effect, element, everything is here. Okay, so that uh, I hope that's tip. Uh, this tip can help you save your empty space on your computer and happy editing with Filmora 9. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Let me know in the comment section below if you like the tutorial. For those of you who want to learn Filmora 9 with my uh, masterclass, check out the description. Uh, my masterclass uh, now has uh, more than 50 uh, lessons. You can learn one by one to make you happy, uh, make you uh, better editing video with Filmora 9. What is wrong with <laughs> Okay, goodbye.